Here are the tools and the materials that I'll be using for this tutorial. Pencil, pattern papers, paper scissors, fabric scissors, measuring tape, fashion rulers, sewing machine, and cotton twill fabric. Now let's get the head circumference measurement. Number one, prepare a measuring tape for head measurement. Number two, place the measuring tape around mid forehead above the ears. Number three, hold the tape firmly, inserting a finger for ease and allowance, and record your measurements. Example measurement of head is 22 inches or 55 centimeters. Before we start drafting, I want to show you the parts of the bucket hat. Top part. For this part, we will create a circle from head measurement, body or crown. This part hugs the mid forehead, brim. This part shields the eyes from the sunlight. Now let's move on to the pattern drafting. To get the radius of the head circumference, we must divide it by 6.28 equals the measurement that we will use to draft the circle top part of the hat. To start off, get a rectangular pattern paper, first fold it crosswise, and then lengthwise, like this one. And from the angle or tip of our paper, we will draft a curved cone shape for the top part. Mark out the radius measurement that you got from your calculations and gradually create a curved cone shape like this one. Next, I will put a 4 eighths of an inch or 1.25 centimeters of sewing allowance before I cut this pattern out from the paper. Once the allowance is established, I am going to cut out the pattern from my paper. And this is my pattern for the top part. Next, let's draft the body or the crown. For the body, I will divide the head circumference by two, and I will use this measurement to draft the half of the body. Firstly, draft a vertical line at the left corner of your paper. And draft a horizontal line at the lower part. From the horizontal line, mark up 3 inches or 7.5 centimeters for the body height. And connect these marks, making a horizontal line. From the vertical line, mark in the half of head circumference measurement. Example, 11 inches or 27.5 centimeters. And to complete, draft a vertical line connecting these marks. By the way, I labeled the left corner on fold. Next, I'm going to fold the body pattern twice, like this. And I'm going to open it, and there you go, instant slash line. I'm going to draw on the folded lines to make it visible. These lines represent the slash line. And next, I am going to slash out the lines, but not beyond or fully. Place the unfold part of the pattern on another piece of pattern paper to properly spread out the panels. And spread the panels by 2 eighths of an inch or 0.6 centimeter equally and evenly. 
Use 1 8 of an inch or 0.3 centimeter for a faded body or crown. And there you go. So this is the body for my bucket hat. Next, I'm going to put my desired sewing allowance and transfer this pattern to another piece of pattern paper to make a whole pattern out of it. And lastly, let's draft the brim for the hat. The dimensions of the brim is different from the body. To draft this rectangular pattern, get the measurement of the lower part of the body, the one that we did previously, and use this measurement for the half of the width of the brim pattern as seen on the illustration. Once you've drafted the rectangular pattern for the brim, fold the pattern four times to get the seven slash line. And next, slash out the lines but not beyond or fully. Next, place the pattern on another piece of paper. This time, fold the paper in half. For the brim pattern, spread the panels by 5 eighths of an inch or 1.5 centimeters equally and evenly. And next, I'm going to put my desired sewing allowance for my pattern. So here you go. I've now completed the brim, body or crown, and the top patterns. Now let's move on to cutting and sewing. For this hat, I'm going to use cotton twill since it's thick and I don't need to fuse an interface. I am also going to cut my patterns times two for the self and the lining. And as I've said earlier, I made two pieces for each patterns for the self and the lining. Next, I am going to connect the seams of the body together and the seams of the brim together. And next, I'm going to sew the body according to the allowance that I used, which is 4 eighths of an inch or 1.25 centimeters. And also with the seams of the brim. Next, I'm going to press the seams open and flat. After that, I'm going to connect the top part to the body part. But before that, I am going to snip or clip off the upper part of the body where I'm going to connect the top part. This will ease the tension at the seam and help me sew the parts neatly. And next, I'm going to sew these according to my sewing allowance.
And next, I pushed all of the seams towards the top side and using my compensating foot, I top stitched the top part by one millimeter. Next, I'm going to attach both brim on the body parts matching the seams. But first, I'm going to snip the upper part of the brim to ease the seam tension. And next, I'm going to sew these according to my sewing allowance. Next, I am going to send or push all of the allowance to the body side and use my compensating foot to top stitch the body part by 1 millimeter. So now that I am done connecting everything for the self and for the lining, it's time to attach both of these together. I'm going to place both self and lining facing right side to right side matching the seam lines. From the seam line at the hem of the brim, I am going to leave an open space in about 5 inches or 12.5 centimeters. This open space or tunnel will help me turn this inside out once I have connected the seam at the hem. Next, I am going to sew the hem according to my allowance which is 6 eighths of an inch or 1.9 centimeters. And I will stop sewing until the seam line. And next, I am going to turn this inside out. Next, I'm going to press the hemline of the brim and fold the tunnel according to my allowance and give it a press. After that, I will pin the tunnel in place in preparation for sewing. And using my compensating foot, I'm going to close the tunnel and top stitch the rest of the hem. Lastly, I'm going to make a multiple top stitches at the brim by 2 eighths of an inch or 0.6 centimeter. These stitches are going to give the brim a sturdy and crisp look. Uh, voila, so this is my final product. I also tried this bucket hat since it fits me well, and it's giving me Shakmus vibes. And honestly, not being a narcissist, but I think I look good on it. And you can also fold the brim, just like in the 90s. Anyway guys, comment down below if you have any questions with the bucket hat tutorial and I'll make it sure to answer as quickly as possible. And don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel La Modelise and I'll see you guys again on the next tutorial. Aviento!